How's it going everybody? I'm RZDX, this is RZDX Unboxes, and today I bring you my second modern CGC comic book submission. I did have an express submission. If you've seen that video, you know what I'm talking about. If not, I likely will have a link at the end of this video, maybe right here above me. Go check out the video, please. It's not, yeah, it's cracked up to be. It's, it is what it's cracked up to be. <laughs> Um, but for this one here, being a modern CGC comic book submission, uh, like my first one, it is seven books. Uh, I submitted seven before, but those did not go through pressing. These will be going through pressing. I don't want to run the risk of, you know, I live in, I live in the state of humidity. I live in Florida. Some of these came through the mail. If anything happened to any of these books and maybe I didn't notice it, I would rather not run the risk of it getting a lower grade than what it could if I send it through pressing. That extra, like, what is it? 15 bucks per book? Yeah, about 15 bucks per book. Um, that's worth it to me to get a to get that better grade and to guarantee me a 9.8 on, on some of these where I'm sending multiples to ensure me a 9.8 for my personal collection. Once this, once I clean up behind this green screen, the screen, this green screen goes away and you guys get to see, you know, stuff like this on the regular, just behind me chilling, having a good time. So that's what I want is to get myself a better chance at a 9.8 or higher. Maybe I would love to get one higher in a submission of mine one day, but we're getting off point. We're getting completely off track let's get back to the these comic books right here in front of us and beginning off with a one in 25 something is killing the children number 16. i held something is killing the children number one and for those of you guys who don't know that comic book right now for a cgc 9.8 i could I, I mean obviously timing could be a bit different than when you're watching this right now they're going for over a thousand dollars and I held it back in my comic book store back in the day before I knew anything about comics outside DC and Marvel. Um, I was one of those that didn't know anything about Boom Studios or Image Comics or anything like that. And I was just like, all right, this is a dope looking cover and set it back down. <laughs> um, this is my little piece of Something is Killing the Children. Um, I'm going to have something from the world of Something is Killing the Children. But this is my piece of the actual series of Something is Killing the Children. Beautiful cover. I bought something off of Rabbit Comics. It's a series that I'm reading. It was back, or a series that I want to start reading. It was a back issue uh, book. And I got an email from them saying, here's $5 off your next order. And then I had PayPal sending me saying, pay with PayPal on Rabbit Comics and you get $5 off your order. I was like, all right, I'm going to get something really cool. And I'm going to get, you know, $10 off of it. I couldn't find anything that I wanted. And then this book came across my screen. I love the contrast between the two uh, halves of the book, essentially. Uh, the, the logo of something that's killing the children on the shirt, almost like a crest right here. Um, you know, her getting attacked. The blood contrast against how bright the floor is. It's just such a stunning cover. This is a Tony Infante. Please tell me if I'm saying that wrong. Um, one in 25, for those of you guys who may not know, one in 25 just basically means that the comic book store has to order 25 of these, have to order 25 of the regular cover to get one of these incentive covers. Um, this one is a one in 25 as well. And, uh, yeah, so it's much more difficult to get one of these than it is the regular covers, which is an incentive cover to incentive to buy more books. But, um... Yeah, after I came across this one, I was like, all right, I got to get it. I will get it. I got it. And now it's going to go to be submitted. I haven't read this one. Um, I didn't intend to read this one because I haven't read the beginning of it by any means. And if I was planning on reading this, I would likely get a, uh, a regular or a second printing if there is one um, to read versus the one in 25 incentive. This one, like I said, is already another incentive. One in 25 Marcelo Ferreira variant uh, for Sinister War. I think this is my own. Nope, nope. I have a big Marvel uh, submission. Uh, the, the other, these back here. <laughs> um, it's, Bo it's Boom Studios and Marvel. Um, I loved Spider-Man, you know, 
facing off or getting tangled up by Doc Ock. I love, you know, Sinister War. It, it is really out of the way and kind of the way that he is. It's like, it's that looming, that sinister war and entangling spot. It's just beautiful, isn't it? I tried to do a, uh, one of the, what is it called? Like the different labels, um, where it has like the amazing Spider-Man on the top, but it wouldn't let me do it for this one. And I think it I could, because it has to be like an amazing Spider-Man to be able to get it. Um, I'm not sure, but it wouldn't let me do it for this one. So I am just going to go with the regular, uh, regular label for this. And, uh, I haven't read this one. I was planning on reading Sinister War, but I never got the actual main cover. An oversight, I guess, for wanting to read it. But 1 in 25, Marcelo Ferreira, Sinister War number one variant. I'm very excited to get this back, be able to uh, put this in the collection. Now this one here, I do have two of them. The free comic book day, Enter the House of Slaughter. These are from the world of Something is Killing the Children. I believe that in one of the issues of Something is Killing the Children, they go into the House of Slaughter. And people's questions or something like that, please tell me if I'm wrong. Uh, again, this is something that I just, I, I kind of read because I haven't read through Something is Killing the Children. I'm going to read through the entirety of Enter the House of Slaughter. But I believe that it they, they go into there and in, in, in Something is Killing the Children and the inquiries and everything into the House of Slaughter brought about this series. Again, I could be entirely wrong. And I would love to be told what actually happens, you know. But I'm going to get through all of these. But these are my, you know, collector's pieces to begin Enter the House of Slaughter. Obviously, with Free Comic Book Day, my comic book store only allowed one cover per person. My girlfriend wanted two of a specific comic, one for herself and one uh, to, to gift to her dad. And... So I was like, I'll get you a second of the cover you want. You get me a second of the cover I want. This one. We just traded. That way she can give her dad a gift. And I had a better chance at guaranteeing my 9.8 Enter the House of Slaughter. Again, it's all about guaranteeing me uh, the grade that I want for my personal collection. So uh, hopefully this means a 9.8 for me. And I will be able to, again, put them back behind me. Uh, as you know art and display pieces uh for for what they really are uh here we have probably my favorite of the submissions so far i am a huge facsimile comic book fan because i get to have you know those those big comic books and not pay the big comic book price um this is werewolf by night number 32 i have three of them this is the first appearance of moon knight uh, and he had, Moon Knight is going to have a TV series on Disney Plus soon. Uh, I guess just a series because it's not TV technically. And this uh, this one I got, well, I got one of these at my local comic book store. And the other two were online. After I found out that these were very, like becoming very, very tough to come by, I, I, I nabbed them when I could. Um... Actually, you know, it might have been these that I got from Rabbit Comics, to be to be completely honest. Um, but the, I, I found out how difficult these were to come by. I was surprised I even got one. I'm surprised that I got three. But this, it, once again, is me guaranteeing, or hopefully guaranteeing, my collection 9.8 one. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm so sorry about that. Um... I just, I want to have a facsimile collection 9.8 and then eventually be able to get the like actual Moon Knight and our actual Werewolf by Night 32 and put it up with the facsimile Werewolf by Night number 32. That would be the coolest thing in the world. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to strive for that. If it happens, it happens. But yeah, so hopefully having three of these submitted is going to guarantee a 9.8 for me that's the submission that's seven card or seven cards that's seven comics and again i don't know when these are going to be coming back but we have two enter the house of slaughter from free comic book day a one in 25 sinister war and a one in 25 something is killing the children 
I'm so excited, guys. And I hope you are too. Get ready. It's going to take a long time for these to come back. But when they do, we'll, we'll know more about Moon Knight and the MCU. We'll know more about the House of Slaughter for the comic series. Because by the time the, the submission comes back, these will, be these will have been out. And we will have been reading them. Um, Sinister War is just Sinister War, right? But I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys so very much. Best of luck to you guys. I'm out.